Good morning. I'm Attorney Gloria Allred, and this is the victim in the criminal case of People versus Valdez. He gives permission to use his name. His name is Cesar Valdez. And, to, and I'll be making a brief statement, and then Mr. Valdez will have a statement. Today, Virginia Valdez was sentenced for the crime that she committed three years ago against her then-husband, Cesar Valdez. Previously, Ms. Valdez entered a plea to assault with a deadly weapon, ADW, with a scissors, which is a one-strike felony. She was sentenced to 420 hours of community service, three years probation, and a 10-year restraining order, preventing her from contact with Cesar Valdez. Cesar agreed that Ms. Valdez could enter the plea and receive this punishment because the criminal case has been dragging on for more than three years with numerous continuances and Caesar wanted to be able to go on with his life. Caesar is left with some resentment against the criminal justice system because he feels that if he had been a woman victim of domestic violence that the case would not have been permitted to be delayed for so long and that the punishment for Virginia would have been harsher. In other words, he feels that he has been the victim of a double standard and that domestic violence against men is not taken as seriously as spousal violence against women. Is there a double standard? Caesar feels that there is and that men are less likely to be believed because of stereotypes about men. As a feminist, I believe that the saying, there is no excuse for abuse, applies equally to men and women. Violence is horrific, whether the victims are male or female. In this case, clearly Caesar was a victim of a crime and his wife was convicted of a violent crime against him. Caesar has been very courageous and he's made every effort to conduct himself with patience and with dignity for the last three years. He did nothing to justify such an attack and should never have been a victim of violence by Virginia. Long marriages are complicated and full of emotional minefields. But violence is never the answer to resolving the issues. I'm happy that Caesar came to me for support and assistance, and I hope that in the future, neither men nor women will be victimized by such a violent, unjustified, and painful attack by the person they love and whom they have every right to trust. And now I present Caesar Valdez. Thank you, Gloria. I will read my statement. Domestic violence is a terrible thing. It affects the victim, the perpetrator, family, and friends. Unfortunately, perception of this crime is normally stereotyped as a crime against women exclusively. That is simply not the case. I'm a living proof that that particular premise is false. Men are also victims, and unfortunately, it seems as though society does not want to deal with this issue. It took 37 months for my case to finally reach a conclusion. Even though Marcy's law specifically states that victims of domestic crime are also entitled to a speedy trial. If I had not agreed to the plea bargain that my wife took, more than likely, we would still be waiting for a future date from yet another delay due to some sort of an excuse from the defense. There is no doubt in my mind that if I had been the aggressor and not the victim, my case would have been heard much sooner. I'm here in front of you today, not to get my 15 minutes of fame, but rather to educate the public on the fact that more often than not, male spouses are also victims of domestic violence. In some cases, men are afraid to talk for fear of ridicule, for fear of being labeled as some sort of a freak or a wimp. As stated on the court, Virginia's crime was horrific, and I'm still under therapy as a result of what she did to me. Let's hope it never happens again to anyone else, and that the public and the judicial system accept the fact that domestic violence does have men as victims and that they also require assistance and justice. Thank you.